Dear friends, welcome to the session for the series of lectures on solutions of first order partial differential equation. In the previous lecture, we have learned how to solve if the function contains only p and q, that is your type 1. In today's lecture, we are going to learn type 2, it is known as Clairaut's form. Okay, let us go into the session. Type 2, Clairaut's form. If you see a problem z equal to px plus qi plus f of p comma q then it is known as Clairaut's form. These are all some problems we are going to deal in today's session. You see z equal to px plus qi here the third term is going to be some function of pq. So, it may be pq, it may be p plus q, it may be p square q square etc etc. So, now we are going to find the complete solution, the general solution and the singular solution for this problem. Okay, let us go to the problem. So, first of all, we have to check it is of the Clairaut's form. So, this problem is of Clairaut's form. Good. Next, we are going to find the complete solution. If P is replaced by A and Q is replaced by B, we get the complete solution immediately. Z equal to AX plus BY plus AB. So, this is my complete solution. The complete solution gets over. Next, we have to find the singular solution and general solution. General solution is going to be very, very easy. Find the singular solution. We know the condition is dou z by dou a equal to 0, dou z by dou b equal to 0. So, this is nothing but my arbitrary constants a and b in the complete solution. To find the singular solution, we have to eliminate the constants a and b from the complete solution that is our target. Okay, let us do that. So, the condition is dou z by dou a equal to 0, dou z by dou b equal to 0. Now, we have to differentiate 2 partially with respect to a and differentiate 2 partially with respect to b. So, if you do this, we will be getting dou z by dou a. The first term a x differentiation is x. Second term does not have a it is 0. Third term differentiation of a b is b. Similarly, dou z by dou b, first term is 0. Second term b y differentiation is y. And third term a b differentiation partially with respect to b is a. And we know the condition dou z by dou a dou z by dou b equal to 0. If you use this, you will be getting 0 equal to x plus b, here 0 equal to y plus a. So, finally, we get the answer a equal to minus y because I want to eliminate a. Here, b equal to minus x. Here, I want to eliminate b. So, now, we are ready to crack the singular solution. Substitute a equal to minus y and b equal to minus x in the complete solution which is equation 2. So, so z is equal to ax plus by plus ab. a is minus y into x, b is minus x into y minus x minus y. Now, you can see z equal to minus yx minus yx plus xy. Then I can cancel this 2 and my singular solution is z plus xy equal to 0 or you say z equal to minus xy. Now, we arrive the singular solution by eliminating both the constants a and b. Our next job is to find the general solution. The general solution is very, very easy. Now, we have two constants ax plus by plus ab in the complete solution. Now, you have to convert this complete solution into one constant by taking b is equal to some function g of a or I can say f of a or I can say phi of a, whatever the notation you like, you use it. Then, I can make the complete solution as a general solution by eliminating that single constant a. Now, I substitute b equal to phi of a in the complete solution, I am getting z equal to a x plus phi of a y plus a into phi of a. Now, differentiating this equation 4 and eliminating a from the equation 4 and its derivative, we can find the general solution of the PDE. So, we do not want to solve, we just leave, we say simply differentiate the equation 4 and get the new equation. By eliminating a between the 4 and the new equation, we get the general solution. Okay. Next, we go for the another problem. Here, it is little different. Z equal to Px plus Qi plus P square plus Q square. As usual, take it as equation 1 and it is very important mention that it is of the Clairaut's form. Then only we can use the procedures or the steps which is given. Now, the complete solution put P equal to A, Q equal to B will be getting the complete solution immediately. Next, our target is to find the singular solution. To find the singular solution, we know the condition that 
two constants do z by do a do z by do b should be zero. So I am taking this two and evaluating. So once you differentiate two partially with respect to a, we get do z by do a is equal to differentiation of a x is x. Second term does not have a is zero. Third term is 2a. Similarly, differentiate 2 partially with respect to b. Do z by do b is equal to y because first term is 0, it does not contain b. Third term is also 0. We will be getting y plus 2. Now, implementing this condition, we will be getting 0 equal to x plus 2a and 0 equal to y plus 2b. Now, minus x is equal to 2a, minus y is equal to 2b. Finally, we found minus x by 2 is a and minus y by 2 is b. So, we know a, b just substitute in this complete solution to get the singular integral by simplifying it. So, when you substitute this z equal to a x plus b y plus a square plus b square, we will be getting z is equal to minus x by 2 into x plus minus y by 2 into y minus x by 2 whole square minus y by 2 whole square. So, we will be getting minus x square by 2 minus y square by 2 plus x square by 4 plus y square by 4. So, when we simplify this, we can easily found minus x square by 4 and minus y square by 4 is remaining. When you take LCM, we will be getting 4 z is equal to minus x square minus y square. And my final solution that is my singular integral or singular solution is 4 z plus x square plus y square equal to 0. You can see this step. Now, we are going for the general solution. Okay. As usual, we will take b as phi of a. When you substitute b equal to phi of a, in complete solution, we will be getting a new equation. And let us take this as 4. Now, it is easy. We simply say differentiate 4 partially with respect to a and eliminating a from these two equations, we get the general solution for the given PDE. So, it is going to be very easy and this topic is very important because there might be a lot of chances. It might be asked in many different universities for examination. Next, we go for a different problem. So, this is little tough. It is not like problem 1 and 2, but if you know some basic, some idea, you can easily crack it. So, what is the differentiation of root x? We have 1 by 2 root x. Here, we are having 1 plus a square plus b square over a root. Then I want to differentiate partially with respect to a. So, first I have to do for the root. The differentiation is 2 times 1 plus a square plus b square and then we have to differentiate partially with respect to a that is 1 plus a square plus b square. So, we will be getting the answer 2a divided by 2 into 1 plus a square plus b square over root 2. So, this is the basic thing which we need for this problem. Okay, now let us go into the problem. And this problem is little complicated because you have root in the question. Let us see how to crack this. As usual, take this question and say it is of the Clarets form. Then put P equal to A, Q equal to B. You will be getting the complete solution easily. Take it as equation 2. Now, we are going for the singular integral or singular solution where we need to eliminate the two constants a and b. So, let us take dou z by dou a equal to 0, dou z by dou b equal to 0. Now, differentiate 2 partially with respect to a and similarly here, differentiate 2 partially with respect to b. Okay, let us differentiate this dou z by dou a. My right hand side, the first term is x. Second term does not contain a, it becomes 0 and differentiation of this is 1 by 2 into square root of 1 plus a square plus b square and differentiation of this term is 2a. Similarly, dou z by dou b is equal to the first term is 0. Second term when I differentiate it is y plus differentiation of this is 1 by 2 into square root of 1 plus a square plus b square 2b. From the given condition, we know that LHS is 0. So, 0 is equal to x plus a by square root of 1 plus a square plus b square. Here, 0 is equal to y plus b by square root of 1 plus a square plus b square. So, finally, we get the answer that is x equal to minus a by square root of 1 plus a square plus b square, y equal to minus b by square root of 1 plus a square plus b square. But the problem is, I do not want x, y. I want a and b in terms of some x and y to solve the problem. 
but here it is different so that's why i said initially this problem is little different so we have to think so what i'm going to do i have my complete solution ax plus by plus square root of 1 plus a square plus b square my aim is to find three constant that is a b also this so from x and y i can observe this is minus a by square root of 1 plus a square plus b square y is minus b by square root of 1 square plus a square plus b square now i want to find this to achieve this goal i am going to square this because square root will trouble me let me square this and i will get like this b by 1 plus a square plus now what is the good thing here my denominator is common for both x square and y square if you add this you cannot cancel it better i can subtract this so remember students if your problem is 1 square plus p square plus q square over root 2 subtract 1 by x square and minus y square if your exam problems are like this 1 minus p square minus q square over root 2 then add it do in the opposite way if you have negative add it if you have positive subtract it so we have positive i am going to subtract this so 1 minus i will keep this minus common so x square plus y square will be a square plus b square divided by 1 plus a square plus b square now when you take lcm it is very easy to see my 1 plus a square plus b square will cancel with a square b square and i will be getting 1 plus a square plus b square therefore 1 minus x square minus y square is 1 by 1 plus a square plus b square so 1 plus a square plus b square is 1 by 1 minus x square minus y square my target is to eliminate a b and square root of 1 plus a square plus b square now it is going to be happen when you square root on both side i can find my right hand side is a function without a b it is simply x y so i found this next my target is to find a and b if you found this problem gets over so to achieve a and b i am going to ask the help of again x and y so now you can see x into square root of 1 plus a square plus b square is minus a similarly y into square root of 1 plus a square plus b square is minus b now i want to find a and b we know the value of this so x into 1 by square root of 1 minus x square minus y square will give you minus a y into 1 by square root of 1 minus x square minus y square will give you minus b so i want plus a and plus b so this is my answer now we found a and b already we found square root of 1 plus a square plus b square so now let us substitute this in equation 2 that is my complete solution to eliminate the arbitrary constant to find the singular integral so z is equal to a x plus b y plus 1 plus a square plus b square so now just we found a is minus x divided by 1 minus x square y square over root 2 into x plus minus y divided by square root of 1 minus x square minus y square into y and this is directly 1 minus x square minus now if i rewrite this i will write the first term this as my first term then x into x x square minus x square minus y square denominator is common for all this three so we know in our school days x by root x is root x am i right same thing this term divided by square root of this will give you z is equal to square root of 1 minus x square minus x y now if i square on both side i'll be getting z square equal to 1 minus x square minus y square finally we achieved the singular solution z square plus x square plus y square equal to 1 so we found the singular solution so next our target is to find the general solution so we know often we take b equal to phi of a and substitute in the complete solution we will be getting a equation 4 differentiating the equation 4 partially with respect to a and eliminating a we will be getting the general solution you have to write as visual so in claret's form complete solution and general solution are so easy but for the singular solution we should be very attentive we have to check and solve the problem hope you understand